Hello there, you're once more welcome to the Glory Ram Devotion Moment. This is the day the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Our God is faithful, our God is merciful, our God is kind. There's just nothing impossible with Him. There is something unusual happening. You know, when you walk into a realm saturated with the presence of God, something unusual begin to happen. Paul writing to Timothy in the book of 1 Timothy chapter number 1, you know, in verse 17, he introduced something that has become a kind of benediction, a, a blessing that is used or prayed upon God's people in some, you know, gathering of God's people. Now, it is now to the king of eternity. Take note. The king of eternity, incorruptible and immortal, invincible, the only God, be honor and glory forever and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. So be it. So this is a prayer. Now look at it. Let's look at it. Now to the king of eternity. Our God is the king of eternity. He is not that creature or whatever that people worship that is bound to the, this part of eternity in the sense of a short-lived earthly mortal life. He is the king of eternity. All right, Eternity has a king and his name is Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, tell us more about the God we serve. Incorruptible. In other words, you cannot um, twist him. His hands are never tied. You know, when, when, when judges, you know, in a court fail to deliver as justice demands, they say their hands are tied. No, his hands cannot be tied. He's incorruptible. In other words, if you want things going for you, you have to align with him. He's incorruptible an immortal in other words he lives beyond the mortal realm right he exists and lives forever and ever invisible you cannot see him with your physical eyes and that's why it's difficult for many people who reason by virtue of the senses the five senses want i mean find it they find it difficult to believe in a god they cannot see and that's why some people have become idol worshippers. They want to worship what they can see. All right. Now, he's invisible. If you want to worship him, you have to get out of the natural realm. All right. And the only God. In King James, it would say the only wise God. But I think I like what Amplify says. The only God. Because if you say the only wise God, you acknowledge that there are other gods. All right, but he says he's the only God. In other words, all others they are not God. Hallelujah. Sometimes we think all other gods they are the works of men. You're the only God. There's none like you. 
I think I like it this way, that he is the only God. All others are not God. They are just part of what he, God Almighty, created. And so it is stupidity to worship what the Creator created. Worshiping the creature instead of the Creator. You know, there's a lot of noise about climate change today. And there are those who worship nature than the God of the creation. The one who created nature is supernatural. All right? The greater dimension of nature is the realm in which our God exists. He is invincible. He is the only God. And to this God, Paul said, be honor and glory forever and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. To this God, he is the one I commit my life to. He is the one I love. He is the one I serve. He is the one I adore. He is the one I cry out to. I depend on him. I am not so sophisticated. I refuse to be so sophisticated not to admit that I depend on him. My intellect is not good enough. There is one who has a greater, mightier, and beyond comprehension dimension of wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and he is the one I depend on. And for that, I know he is able to sustain me, keep my mind alert, and he will not let me lose my mind. Even in, if he tarries and one becomes old, he is able to keep us intact. In spite of situation and circumstances, we know that he has gotten everything under control. There's nothing impossible for him. Do you know him? Is Jesus your Lord and Savior? Have you given your life to him? He died on the cross of Calvary, shed his blood for the redemption of our sins. Make him your Lord and Savior today. Accept that you need him and he will help you and your life will never be the same again. Till I come your way again, by the grace of God tomorrow, I am Ego Louis Igwebu. God bless you.